In this video, we're taking a closer look at pouring kettles. Welcome, my name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. For this video, we're gonna investigate and look closer on two of our favorite pouring kettles. Now, pouring kettles are very important, um, especially when we compete, but also just, you know, home brewing or daily use in a coffee shop, right? We're getting to a point where there's a lot of different kettles to choose from. And we want to start making a few videos uh, to kind of share our opinions and thoughts on some of the more used ones. And in our world and our experience, we spend the most times with the Bonavita pour kettle as well as the fellow kettle. Um, these two have both gone through competitions or we have both used them in competitions. We're using the fellow shop in our store. Um, again, for the sake of transparency, we have purchased these. These are not sponsored in any single way. Now, we want to show you just a few features on them because we often get asked also through our Patreon community what kettle to buy, what kettle to use, and so on, right? So we're basically going to show some features and give some thoughts on the two different kettles, um, which are, are both interested in different ways. Now, what we see here is that they're all kind of easy to use in terms of setting temperatures. We have a few different ways to do this. Uh, I should say that the way that the fellow is allowing you to work with temperatures is actually a bit easier than what the Bonavita does. Uh, I just find that the, the buttons on the Bonavita is a bit harder to use. Um, it's not as easy to use. It's not as user friendly. Um, but basically they work in the same way where you can regulate whatever temperature you want in both Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, and then you can basically set that temperature with different hold functions that will allow you to have a somewhat stable temperature which I think is both interesting. And when it comes to heating water, which is basically the, the main function of them, uh, they're both very similar. In my experience, I could say that the fellow kettle is a tiny bit uh, faster, um, but just minor. So for me, that's not really making that much of a difference. The real difference is in the pouring. Um, and we can see that in a lot of different ways when it comes to these, um, these kettles. The main thing being that the fellow has what some people refer to as a restricted flow. Um, so those of you that are tuning into the World Brewers Championships, and watching those videos, a lot of you will see the fellow kettle. And one of the reasons for that is the accuracy in pouring, right? So when we do pours, I basically um, can control the fellow quite easy by basically just tipping it over as much as I can. Uh, and because of the restriction, it will never come out more water. So I will always have a flow that is fairly easy for me to control. Whereas on the Bonavita, if I want to pour a lot of water, I can really pour a lot of water. So with the Bonavita, I can pour a lot more water faster. However, for example, when you compete, pouring water really fast doesn't enable you to have the same control um, and it might actually cause one of your pores to not measure up to where it should be. So one of the secrets behind competing is that you actually have a judge that is looking at your individual pores. And I say this referencing both the volume of the pour, but also the time of the pour. So basically, for example, you want to do a double pour or even a single pour with the fellow, you can basically calculate with a certain amount of water in the kettle and with a certain tilt that it will never pour faster than this. So you're actually going to have a lot more control and I can spend time basically watching the camera or talking to you guys and pouring at the same time and actually know roughly how much water it's going to be poured just by referencing the amount of seconds I am pouring. So it's kind of a bulletproof way to pour more consistent. Does pouring more consistent it'll enable you to have a taste of a cup of coffee? Well, here is where it gets interesting. Pouring is important for a lot of different reasons. We know, for example, that if we pour faster, we're agitating the coffee a lot more. That can change the flow rate, meaning that the water can go through faster. It's also gonna change the coffee bed, right? So we might have a slightly uneven extraction if we have a very low 
dosage of coffee, we might have a more even extraction if we have a very high dosage of coffee and really need to make sure that there's an evenness in the way the water saturates the coffee. So the answer there is a bit more complicated. Um, however, what I can say here is that using the Bonavita, I have a much, much wider range of different pouring techniques. So if I'm a home brewer, for example, I want to do you know, both my morning cup that is just for me or also brew for dinner, let's say you use a Chemex or something like that with, with just more coffee, I would actually recommend using the Bonavita just for the sake that you can actually pour very fast, you can agitate all of that coffee, um, and you can get a lot of water out of the kettle quite quickly. Uh, whereas on the Fellow, you simply can't, right? It doesn't matter what you do, you can still not pour faster. Um, so you have a wider range of pouring techniques here. However, then, for example, from a competition perspective or just an accuracy perspective, pouring uh, consistent with a Bonavita kettle uh, just requires more training because you have a much wider range of flow depending on how you tilt the kettle, depending on how much water you have in the kettle, you're gonna have to be better at pouring uh, to get a uniform result than what you have to be on the Fellow. So the Fellow is a bit more um, bulletproof in the sense that there's really no way to pour incorrect with it, right? However, you don't have the range of different pouring styles that I personally um, actually enjoy, which is why, for example, the Bonavita is what I currently use in competitions. Um, but then, for example, the Fellow is what we use in the store because it gives us more consistency when we are multiple people using the same kettle. Um, some other interesting things that I want to show. Uh, one of the things that actually has been a bit challenging for us, and this goes both for Bonavita as well as the Fellow, whereas the screens and the displays might act out a bit, um, showing some weird numbers and getting a bit blurry, and, and it's not always as easy to read as you want them to be. Um, one of the things that I personally have a hard time with with the Fellow is that when you work with a pretty high amount of water in the kettle, it's very easy if you tip this because the, the flow is so slow. Uh, if I basically increase my pouring here, but have a lot, lot more water, then I'm going to see water coming out of the, the top or the lid, which is something that I don't like to do. Uh, also, uh, these three holes here, since the kettle is so compact, it gets really, really hot. Uh, so when brewing, for example, if I want to have my hand here, you need to make sure that these three holes um, are not underneath your hand placement because that's going to be really, really hot. So I actually always tilt it out, which is something I don't have to do on the Bonavita because the handle is just structured in a way where I'm never going to have my hand above the holes, which is something I really like. Um, just handling and holding in general, I find the Bonavita to be a bit more comfortable as well. Um, but apart from that, the features on the kettles are very similar um, and, and they're both great, great kettles to use. What you need to consider then is basically the restriction in range of flow on the Fellow um, and the fact that it might be harder for you to make smaller brews consistently with a slower flow rate on the Bonavita, right? Apart from that, you obviously have, you have pry points, you have design points. The Fellow is a beautiful kettle, which is again part of why we're using it in the store. Um, it's hard to argue with that, um, but it's also, you know, all factors matters when you're deciding what you want to go, right? So two great kettles, um, great in slightly different ways. We want to say that the displays on both kettles can act out a bit and be a bit complicated. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, then again, it's, it's just a matter of finding that the kettle that kind of fits your style of brewing. If you have a very wide range of brewing, having a lot of different products, I go with the Bonavita. If you're, you know, consistently just doing, you know, the same pour over every morning, I would go with the Fellow. So no right or wrongs, but yeah, just some tips and tricks on how you can actually deal with the kettles that you're using. And um, with that, I want to thank you for watching. As always, we're really happy that you guys are supporting us. We're gonna push out a few more videos to our Patreon supporters exclusively, featuring a few more kettles. Uh, we obviously wanna hear your stories. Which kettles are you using? What kettles do you want us to kind of test and showcase for you here on the channel as well? With that, thank you and have a great day.
Thank you for watching and a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. These are the people that allow us to do what we do best and give you continuous content. If you wanna be one of our supporters, please follow the link in the video. Thank you again for your support.